Hey, Lisa checking in. Today we're going to take a look at updating your Rackspace email or hosted exchange password. Let's take a deeper look. If you're an end user and you'd like to change your password, you can do so right from within webmail. In order to change your password, you're going to click on the three lines in the upper right hand corner next to your email address and you're going to select Settings. From the Settings window, you'll click on Change Password on the left hand side. In the new window that pops up, you'll enter your current password in the first field. And in the second and third fields, you'll put your new password. You'll want to make sure that they meet the complexity requirements and that they match each other. Once you've completed that, you'll click Save, and it will tell you that it's going to reload after you've made that change. You just want to confirm that window. Logs you out, so don't be worried by that big red X. And you'll have to log back into Webmail, but your password will have been successfully changed. If you're a Rackspace Exchange user and you'd like to change your password, you can make your way over to CP dot rackspace dot com slash user cp and log into the portal shown here. In order to change your password, you navigate to the top section, enter your current password, and then in the new password and confirm new password, you would enter your new password, paying close attention to the complexity requirements that are listed to the side. Once you see a green check mark, which denotes that both match, you can go ahead and click on Change, which will finalize your updated password. That's all there is to it. And just as a last quick note, Exchange users looking to change their passwords should first make sure that all of their devices are offline, change their passwords, and then bring them back online. And that's how you change your password. If you have any further questions, feel free to log into the email help tool at emailhelp.rackspace.com, check out our other videos, or contact your administrator who can give us a call. Until next time.